All right, so if you're just tuning into our live show, we're now moving on to a demo of Windows Blue, the next update to Windows 8 from Microsoft. We're not sure officially what it's going to be called, but we hope you enjoy anyway. I don't know what the final name is going to be. 8.1? <laughs> Red. Oh, they changed the color on us all of a sudden. It's a mystery. I really don't know. But we'll show you some of the new features, all right? So Windows 8 was released in October. It's now uh, about a half a year later. And we got Windows Blue here. What Microsoft is planning to do with Windows Blue is start to release it on a more annual, I guess, like a yearly update cycle and for a lower price. And not only do they want to try to make it more affordable, they also want to, and not only do they want to make it release every year, but they want to improve things with touch, make things more realistic with touch and change other features. So if you're watching this on YouTube with our Computer Clan Live excerpt, you'll see this in HD. But if you're watching this on the podcast or the live stream, it might be a little bit more laggy and in standard definition. So here's the desktop. Nothing really new right here. This is pretty much the same. A lot of the stuff we're going to show you is going to take place in the modern UI environment. So here is the start screen. As you can see, it looks the same because it pretty much is by default. But if you make some changes, then you'll start seeing something different. So here you see three new apps uh, right off the bat. You see Calculate, Sound Recorder, and Alarms. These are three new accessories for the modern UI environment. Um, there's also some other new apps. There's a new search application that doesn't actually open, so I don't think that's like a finalized thing yet. And there's this Movie Moments app. It's kind of like a small video editor. So that's another feature. Uh, there's also some tweaks with the animations. Like here's a new one, for example. If you start searching, it actually pushes the screen up and your results show up. So that's a nice new little animation. Uh, in terms of the start screen itself, there's some nice changes. For example, if you have these tiles here and you want to change their sizes even more than before, you can do that. Now, they even have this new customize button. So if you right click and press customize, it actually throws the screen into an editor mode. So then I can click these certain things. Let's say I want to get rid of these uh, four apps here. So let me go to customize and click these apps. Let's say I want to get rid of them. I could hit uh, unpin from start. And you can just do it right from that editor mode. It's really nice. And another new thing is the desktop. Let's say I want this larger. I can now make this a nice big square so I can see my desktop. Also, let's see. Let's, let's say I want this icon to be even smaller. I can make it really small. And those don't always work. They're a little buggy because this is, this is a very early stage of the software. But I can now make these icons smaller. So before you could have them as like a rectangle or like a square. But now you can make them these really small squares if you want to save more space on your screen. And you can make the desktop bigger as well. And it all looks pretty good. It's a little buggy, but it works for a lot of it. So let's say, let me just do a little more editing here. I want to make these three rectangles be even smaller here. So now I got that like square size and now I can make them even smaller. And now there are these little icons just sitting up there all nice and pretty. So that's a nice little change. Uh, another nice thing about this is there's a new customizer for the screen. Before you had to go to your Metro control panel. Sometimes I'll call it Metro. It's really the modern UI. Uh, the former name was Metro. So you can actually go, instead of going to the control panel, you can go right to this personalized button. And... Mason, I know you had Windows Blue installed for some time. Did you ever uh, fiddle around with this? Um, fiddle around with what? Oh, the the color picker on the side here. Um, I think I may have. Okay, but I, just... I didn't go too in depth into it. All right, so... I was just wondering because you were doing a video about it, and also I'm having this problem where I can't set any other backgrounds. But I think that's just because you can't actually activate the software because you can't do that in this build. And normally, when you can't activate Windows, you can't change backgrounds like that. But this is new. Instead of going to a control panel, you can just do it in real time right with the sidebar. So let's say I want to change the color. I can just drag this and choose a new color. So that's my new background, and I can change a new accent color. Maybe I want this to be a little bit darker. And I can just do all that right from this little control panel right here without having to leave the screen. So now I just did all that without having to leave. Pretty simple. An important thing is the update to snap. And you can have different snapping sizes more than before. I think there were like two or three. Now there's a couple more. And that's really good for smaller screen tablets. So now you can put Windows 8 on even more devices. So let me demonstrate that. I have some apps open here. And while I actually do this, I'll also show you some of the new apps. So let's say I have this calculator here. Now I can click it and it brings it to the foreground. This is the new calculator in Windows 8 in case you're curious. Now let's say I want to go to the desktop. And let's say I'm working on like an Excel spreadsheet or something and I want a calculator open. 
Well, um, I could stay on the desktop, go to my app switcher here, and just drag the calculator in and snap it. Now, that's what you could do already, right? But the new thing is it allows you to change the sizes even more. And uh, yeah, I can't demonstrate it here, but if I was on a smaller screen, you could see it adapt differently. At, le at least I think. Maybe I'm getting that wrong, but I know there's more size options because before when I ran this through Splashtop on my iPad, you couldn't do Snap on a 1024 by 768 display. But now with the new support for the smaller screens and Snap, you can have smaller snapping positions. And before... and maybe go back to the desktop. And it remembers what's here, and it keeps it right there. But So that's cool. That's kind of similar, but there's now the ability to snap three different screens instead of just two. When uh, We're asking in the chat, when do you think it's gonna be released? Well, I don't know when Blue is gonna come out, but Build, the Microsoft Developer Conference, was scheduled for June, and rumor has it that a developer preview will be then, so we'll probably see that then. Um, IE 11. Yes, Internet Explorer 11 is now included. Let me just close this. I haven't noticed many features on the desktop that were different. Thanks, SC, in the chat. Yeah, nice use of the Metro there. Um, I haven't noticed anything different in the desktop version, but in the Metro version or the modern UI version, I have noticed some changes. If you click the wrench here, it looks like you get some more options. You get a find on page option. I don't think that was there before. And you can actually, there's a new option here that says get app for the site. So if you were on like Twitter's website, for example, and the store was actually available in this developer build. Yeah, that's not new. That's not new either? No. Why have I, why am I People not? People just haven't explored Windows 8 enough. Oh, go, how come I'm not seeing these things in Windows 8? Wow, I feel like a dumbass. What about the view downloads button? Is that new? That's new. Okay, view downloads is new. Damn it. <laughs> Um, so now you can actually open up the downloads manager without having to run a download. And if I actually had downloads going, you could see them in the screen here. What about the find on page command? Is that new? You, you use windows more than I did before. I don't think that's app. new. Oh, damn that's it. not new either. I swear it. Oh, maybe that's, maybe that part's not new. I don't know. I thought you always had to go to your charms or something to search. Can anyone confirm in the chat? I mean, I believe rain. He's smarter than me when it comes to windows things, but, uh, if you can confirm that for me, that would just be great. So my reputation somewhat hangs in the balance properly without it just falling apart. Um, let's see. Uh, if you go to the control panel, there are some changes here. Unless I'm wrong again, but this time I don't think I am. Uh, <laughs> before when you clicked on these side things, you used to get a bunch of uh, like sub menus on the, on the right side. But now you can actually just slide through them on the left side and get all your settings on the right. And it just works efficiently like that. And if you want, you could even switch it back to the Windows 8 version of the control panel. And it has some more control panels in here too. Like for screen, you can actually change your resolution and stuff right inside of um, the control panel here. And I'm going to try turning it up just to see if I can run those uh, snap features. Let me apply this quickly. Let's turn up the resolution to... 1680 by uh, 1050, because I know I tested it at that resolution. There we go. So yeah, that's nice. You can now do that from the modern user interface there. All right, so now let's try snapping another app. Let's get the, let's get the alarms app. There we go. Okay, finally. <laughs> this shows that you can have three things snapped. You cannot do that in Windows 8. And let's actually go to... Um, Let's just max, max this out at 1080p here so you can see that. There you go. All right. In Windows 8, you can snap two screens. In Windows Blue, you can snap three. And it's more adapted for smaller screens as well. So there you go. Now, now we're really multitasking here, man. We got alarms. We got control panels. And they all adjust for the uh, splits. So when you make them smaller, they actually adjust the interface so it kind of fits in that smaller window. And this search panel here, I'm pretty sure the search panel and the control panel is new, because before you had to go to your charms for that. But um, that looks new. It's not coded properly yet, because it just shows a bunch of weird things. System settings, under display, di underscore display resolution. System settings, underscore display, underscore launch dialogue. Yeah, that's not normal. <laughs> but 
this is very preliminary software as I have iterated. So let's put the uh, resolution back to how we had it for this demo. Oh, now it just says resolution one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's not going to help me. <laughs> I don't know what resolution five is. Um, hopefully, yeah, now we can change it. Three, 1360 by 768. That looks good. Let's stick with that. Uh, Rain, Mason, anyone on the call, is there anything I might have missed? I showed the apps, I showed the start screen stuff, the uh, triple snapping. I talked about the snapping being for smaller screens. I showed some things on IE11, the new control panel, the customized mode on the start screen. Did I miss something? I believe that's about it. Not that I know of. Not that you know of? I would show movie moments, but I have no videos. It's um really nothing that special. It's just like a little video trimmer. But yeah, I think that about covers it. Sorry that I made some mistakes. I'm going to obviously have to do some more exploring with Windows 8. I mean, I use Windows 8 sometimes. Just not a ton, apparently. Oh, I don't think you could do this before. Before, you had to zoom out and select the groups and then choose name group from a menu. Well, now the name group things just show up in the customized mode, which is pretty easy. So naming is easier. That's pretty efficient. And come out of customized mode. All right. Well, we'll be seeing a developer preview of this soon, so we'll get a lot more out of this. So that's about all I can show you for now. So I will just suspend this virtual machine. Thank you for tuning in to this demo.